Hey guys, John Vapor Honing Technologies today here. I have a couple different gun parts. I have some AR parts, of course, a pistol slide. And the point of this video is to show the gun manufacturers in the world or the aftermarket guys who are making parts for these guns um, how you can use the vapor honing process. Traditionally, dry blasting has been pushed and promoted obviously for many, many years. Um, a lot of you gun guys are suffering right now because you have no good process for your machining, uh, your post-processing of your machine parts, specifically in this gun market. Um, there are a couple challenges that you guys are facing. I mean, number one, the messiness, the dust mess, and the inefficiencies of your dry blasting process. Um, let's face it, these machines all suck. If you guys say that there is a great dry blast machine, um, you're gonna have a really tough time convincing me and you need to show me, because I've seen a lot. There are a couple more challenges that you face when you get to the processing level of these parts. You can see all the detail in every one of these parts. It's all different, it's all unique. So the detail of the part, which means the consistency is gonna suffer in a dry blast system because you're spraying like a pencil fine spray of abrasive versus back here behind us, we're spraying something like a garden hose with abrasive mixed in. So obviously if water can flow, around this part, the abrasive can follow it. So you're gonna get every nook and cranny of the part. After that, you have different material types. So you're blasting steel, stainless steel, aluminum. Um, those are a couple materials that you're gonna be processing and you're gonna be trying to do something different with possibly each material or you could be doing the same thing, it's just a different material that you're blasting. You could be prepping it for a coating. So obviously if you're prepping for a coating, you would use the same abrasive across the board here no matter what material type you're blasting and you would be golden. Obviously when you get to a steel part, you need corrosion inhibitor. Corrosion inhibitor is gonna be fine on aluminum. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's just gonna protect your carbon or your ferrous metals from flash rusting. Um, gonna do nothing to the aluminum. You can still coat after a corrosion inhibitor. A lot of people have this misconception that if you add a corrosion inhibitor to the machine, you cannot coat. We do it every day. Black oxide coatings, Cerakotes, any thin film coating, PVD coatings, we coat after using the corrosion inhibitor. That's what it's for, uh, to allow you enough time to get your part coated and protected. The detail is the big thing. The dust control issue is another, and of course, the inefficiency of these machines. I mean, the vapor honing machines can pump out parts um, way faster because you can see and people enjoy using the machine. I mean, so if they enjoy using it, they're gonna obviously produce more for you. If you guys need help or you have more questions on this specific application in the gun industry, give us a call. We're here and we can help you. We can set up a process for you. So just let us know. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.